Okay. I think our audio was off. Is our audio working now? All right. Audio is working now. Good. It should be working now. Let me know if you hear me. All right. Cool. Excellent. Type sound if you guys hear me. Okay, so welcome to the webinar today. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to make money and how to figure out how much a niche site is going to make. This is a question I get asked all the time where people say, Marcus, how do I know what a site's going to make? Well, disclaimer, you never really know until you test it. But one thing I will tell you for those of you that are new is that over the last 19 years, one of my specialties in affiliate marketing has been the ability to take little niches that people don't really understand or know how to profit in and turn them into major profit. Like one of the niches I went into and everyone laughed at me. Right? I told people, I was like, I'm going to make money in this niche. And they're like, what are you going to sell? How are you going to make money? How's it going to work? And I went out there and I built this site and I absolutely crushed it. It was a seven-figure site and it killed it by doing really, really good. And most of the competitors in that market were settling for less than a penny a click. I was out there making anywhere from eight to 27 cents per click. Now you might be saying, well, Mark, it's 27 cents a click. What are you gonna do, go buy a Happy Meal after four clicks? Well, it adds up when you do it about 4,500 times to 10,000 or 20,000 times a day. So we got to really look at this and we got to focus. What I want you guys to do right now is I want you to put your math hat on because today we're going to talk about math, which if you hate math, don't worry. I actually spent all morning, I woke up at 7.15, 7.17 to be exact, and I put together a little calculator and a PDF download that I'm going to be giving away on this webinar. So you don't have to go through the math. You don't have to do the stuff. You just got to kind of understand the concepts. Does that sound good? If that sounds good, type yes, Marcus. Let's dive right in. Let's do some math. Let's talk about how to understand what a site's going to make. Because I got to tell you, I watch a lot of my competitors' videos on YouTube and on other places. And I read a lot of what the competitors are saying. And they're saying that in order to make like $1,000 a month, you got to have like 60,000 visitors to your website. Now, let me let you in on a little secret. If I only got $1,000 for every 60,000 visitors, I would be broke. I wouldn't even be able to pay the people who work for me. I wouldn't even be able to pay for the web hosting that I have. Now, I have kind of expensive web hosting because we have like a million different servers. Probably a little redundant. But still, if I had to settle for $1,000 for every 60,000 visitors or whatever it is, I would be going broke. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about how to narrow in on your niche because I got to tell you, when it comes to valuing a niche, you got to be deliberate. You got to be exact. You got to know what every single visitor is clicking on and you got to know what you want every visitor to do. Very, very important. If you don't do this, you're doing what I call guess marketing. A lot of people go out there and they do guess marketing and they say, Marcus, I'm going to make a website and a blog about a fifth wheel. And it's like, I'm going to make it about these fifth wheels and I'm going to teach people how to put these fifth wheel trailers on the back of their truck and go and have a vacation. And they make the blog and it's all fine and it's all good and they're sharing information and their visitors are liking it, but they don't make anything. They don't make anything. Very important. Now, Tina says she got her first purchase on one of her websites. Awesome. Congratulations, Tina. We are getting stories like that from everywhere. We got people that are like 70 years old, 80 years old that are making sales. We got people who are new, who are, you know, 20 years old, and they're making sales, and they're learning how to do this. And a lot of people are figuring it out, and they're understanding it because we're explaining it in a very simple way. And today is no different. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about your niche. The first thing you have to do when it comes to valuing your niche and saying, what am I going to earn? Right? How many of you guys would like to kind of have an idea of what you're going to earn before you start? Now, again, the disclaimer is up there. I have no idea what you're going to earn. I have no idea what my sites are going to earn. I have no clue how much you'll make, what you'll do. I, I don't know anything about that. All right, so obviously take it with a grain of salt. But what we can do is we can piece together the pieces and see what we can expect. And now I've been doing this for 19 years. All right, there's lots of people out there that are going to teach you about how they're experts and they've been doing it for like a year. I saw one guy who was like, I was trying to buy a house and I need two years of income, but I've only been doing this for like a year. 
And I'm like, okay, well, that's good. But if you've only been doing this a year, right, what are the chances that I can duplicate your success? What are the chances that I can go out and learn from you in a real world way? Sure, you might have done one thing that works, but I've been here 19 years. I've done SEO back before Google was even popular. We used to do like Hotbot and Lycos. I did affiliate marketing back before affiliate marketing was even a big thing, right? So we got to look at this and we got to refine it. Now, the reason I bring that up is one, guys, who do you want to learn from? Do you want to learn from the new kid on the block who's like, well, I set up a Shopify store and I made a bunch of money. I, I spent a whole lot of money too, but, you know, I made a little bit, right? Or do you want to learn from someone who's like, I've been doing this since I was 19 years old. I am now... 38 years old, if you can't tell. I do have some gray hair, but I think the haircut lady cut them off, which is good. We like when she removes the gray hair. But at any rate, who do you want to learn from? You got to ask yourself that question right here, right now. What do you want to do? Do you want to take this serious? Do you want to make this affiliate marketing thing work? Or are you just going to play at it and say, well, you know, I'm going to test the next big thing and maybe this and maybe ClickBank and maybe that, right? You need to get a fundamental understanding of how this stuff works, and that's what I'm going to provide to you. Because there's certain things that I've learned on my 19-year journey to figure out exactly what to expect, exactly what to do. And now I look at this. I look at this, and I'm like, hey, I could pretty much predict what's going to happen. Like, I usually know within a few cents how good a site's going to do. Now, you might be saying, well, Marcus, within a few cents. Well, what we're doing is we are evaluating our site based on this this is the holy grail epc now epc stands for let's see if red works well on the board earnings earnings per click Earnings per click. This is the most important metric. And a lot of people don't talk about this. They're like, set up a blog, get some traffic, great, wonderful, yay, excellent. But they don't talk about earnings per click. Now, this is a number. If you want to be an affiliate marketer, I'm going to tell you right now, get obsessed with this number. Be a freak about that. I got printouts. And I print these printouts out somewhere. Here they are. Printouts. And I print out where my traffic comes from, what people are clicking on, how many people click, and how much I make per click. Now, there's two numbers we want to look at. Okay, you can't see the red. All right, we'll get rid of the red marker. Okay, earnings per click. Earnings per, hopefully this works, click. Okay, is that better? Okay, so now what this means is how much can I expect based on a click? Okay, because once I know this number, everything else is easy, right? If you knew for a fact you were going to make 30 cents a click, how many clicks would you need this month to pay your bills, right? If you knew you were going to get that, and of course, it's not a definite fact. Things can change. But if you knew roundabout, I'm going to average 30 cents a click, right? How many clicks would you need this month to pay your bills? Let's say you want to make, you know, $1,000 a month. Okay, you want to make a grand a month? That means you're going to need 3,000 clicks. Okay, pretty cool. You take that and you're like, okay, great. 3,000 clicks divided by 30 days. That's 100 visitors a day. Okay, so if you want to make $1,000 a month, are you really letting 100 little visitors stop you? Or maybe you know you're going to make a dollar a click or $3 a click or five cents a click or whatever it is. Hopefully we don't spill the coffee here, right? This is what's going to make it easy. Type easier if you're already like, yeah, this is making sense. This makes it really easy. I can focus on this because it's not like the other stuff where it's like set up this thing and hope that it works and maybe this affiliate offer will work, maybe that one. We're going to go in and we're going to refine and we're going to look at what it takes to get those numbers, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look and we're going to focus. Now, the amount... And the value of your niche is pretty easy to determine, okay? What you want to do is you want to look at your niche, okay? So let's type in some of the niches that you guys are in. Or if you're in Canada, the niches. I think they actually say it the right way. I think we're the 
incorrect way, right? But the niche, niches or the niches, type in what niche you're in. So we got Shannon here, we got Haroon, we got Carol, Jerry, and I know a lot of you guys have niches. Tina, what was the niche that you made your sale in? Okay, so we got keto diet. Let's write some of these up here. And we're going to go through and we're going to go ahead and value these niches and see what we're going to look at. So we got keto diet. Okay, we got crotchety. Is that a niche? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, we got newbie autism. Okay. Okay, we got digital marketing agency. That's not really a niche. That's more of like a what you do, so you want to refine it. Okay, good. So Shannon's got yoga clothing. Okay, good. And just the other day, I was talking to my brother. My brother is a musician extraordinaire. I did not get those jeans. I pick up a guitar, and the guitar just, like, does not want to work, right? None of the strings sound like his. But he's really good at it, and he starts a YouTube channel. And he's talking to me the other day, and he's like, man, I got this YouTube channel, and I'm really small, so I can't make money. And I'm like, okay, well, you can make money no matter what, but humor me. And he tells me, and he says, I can't make the money. However, I had six people email me and say that they bought this guitar pedal. And I had five people email me and say that they bought this guitar. And I said, buddy, you're making money. You're just not getting paid for it, right? You're making the sales. You're just not getting paid for it. So we're going to evaluate that. Okay, we got back pain. Okay. Good, we got um, memory, memory. Okay, we got uh, Jerry says cheap little dresses. Okay, dresses, we'll say fashion. Okay, we got um, computer warranty, good. Computer warranty. Okay, what else do we have here? Financial freedom, okay, good. Financial freedom. Okay, we got drones. Okay, good. Uh, what else we got? Okay, we got drones. We got moods. Okay, moods. Okay, now, what we have to do, we got aquarium supply. Okay, good. We'll, we'll keep it at this list. We'll do some more if we have some time, and we'll dive in and look at these. Now, the first thing you need to do when you want to value your niche is what? Does anyone know the first thing you got to do, like if I'm going to go in and I'm like, I want to make money with yoga clothing, right? What's the first thing I do? Okay. Do I buy a domain? Do I set up a site? Like if I want to know how much I can expect to earn, what is the second thing that I need to do? Okay. Melissa says, search the stats. Okay. Yeah. You could search Google, um, Google keyword tool. Okay. Good. Okay, so we could search Google Keyword Tool. Okay, traffic, not necessarily. Now, traffic is what we're gonna what we're gonna do to get people to our site. We want to focus on what we're gonna earn. Okay, so when we go through a niche, I go, I find a niche, and I'm like, yay, I want to go into keto diet. Is it worth it? All right, I'll go to Google. I'll be like, ah, okay, you know, people are paying a dollar a click or whatever. Yay, good. Um, then I'll go over. And I'll look at like offers, okay? So Alex, pat yourself on the back there. Good job. Alex said, go find offers. Exactly. So what I want to do is I want to think outside the box. When I think about moods, okay, we think about moods. And a lot of marketers will be like, you can't make money with moods. What are you going to market happy and sad? And you're going to sell people some tears? I mean, what are you going to do, right? So we got to look at this and we got to think outside the box. And we have to think about what are we going to do with moods, Okay. Now, when I think about this, I don't just think moods. I think, well, there's all kinds of like companies that are advertising on TV for like, hey, if you're sad, take whatever drug that no one can pronounce. Or there's people that, that have books about how to raise your mood. There's personal help and personal development about moods. There's supplements about moods. And again, if you go into health and supplements, get a good disclaimer and get a good lawyer just because you don't want to mess around with people and always share good information. But again, now, do you see how I took moods from like, what the hell are you going to do with it to, hey, check this out. Now I can actually check and see, hey, is there an ebook about moods? Is there um, some kind of personal development? Is there like a toolbar that has moods? Um, maybe I can give them smiley faces, right? I made a lot of money giving away smiley faces um, and they have moods on them, right? So we got to think about this. Now, when we look at other things like drones, 
Okay, the average affiliate marketer is going to be like, well, I can go to Amazon and I can sell drones. Okay, you could do that. Now, Amazon's going to pay you like 4 to 8% which is pretty low, which is where those people get the numbers where they're like, hey, I need 60,000 visitors to make a living, right? Because obviously if you're making four to 8% and the average drone is, let's say 300 bucks, 300 to 1,000 bucks, okay, let's say 1,000 just to be on the easy side here, right? And we'll estimate it. So we got 1,000, if we're getting 4%, that's $40 per drone. If you get 60,000 visitors to your site, how many drones are you actually going to get people to buy from your site, right? I don't know, maybe uh, let's say 1%, 60,000, 1% would be uh, 600 drones times 40 bucks. What would that be? I think we're shooting a little high, but you guys get the idea here. Let's put it in the calculator, 600 times 40. We're looking at uh, $24,000, okay? But that's a lot of sales. Okay, the average person who does this is not going to get that amount, and the average person's probably not going to get like 4%. Okay, so we got to look at that. We got to focus. And I got to tell you, getting 60,000 visitors in the drone market, it's freaking hard to do, right? That's hard to do. Okay, very important. And we got to look at this and focus. So we're looking at this on the low end, we'd be what, um, 40 bucks on that? That'd be a third of it. So what, like 10 bucks or something. So on the low end, we're even lower than that, okay? So that's what we gotta look at. Now let's say we're in like financial freedom. Okay, financial freedom's good. What do we do? What do we do with this? Well, we could sell books, we could sell courses on financial freedom. We can generate leads for stuff like fidelity companies, uh, investment companies, IRA companies, things like this, you know, pay off debt, stuff like that, okay? Computer warranty, obviously, sell them computer services, things like that. Um, so that's what we look at, okay? Does everyone understand what we're doing? Right, everyone, give me a 100 if you understand. Give me a one if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Somewhere in between, if you're somewhere in between. So the first thing to do, find your niche, okay? Go through the Google Keyword Tool. I teach this all over my site. There's tons of stuff. Next, we go through and we're like, now we look at our Google Keyword Tool, see what it's worth, and then we look at our offers. Okay, very cool. Now, in this call, in this training, I'm going to give you a calculator. Okay, I have to package it. And I'm going to give you a PDF download, and you can print out as many as you want. And it's a niche evaluation worksheet. Okay, so you could go in, you'll put your niche on the top, put your keywords, you put your offers, we'll figure out exactly what you're looking at. Okay, very important. Now, we had someone earlier that said, hey, they were doing this stuff and they didn't have a sale. They got a lot of traffic on their blog but they did not have a sale, okay? Very important. Yeah, Sammy says, I didn't get any sale. What are, the only blog I have didn't get any sale. And that's what most people are dealing with. They're dealing with the land of no sales. If you have no sales, type no sales. You're like, Marcus, I'm not making any sales. I get traffic, but I'm not making sales. And we're gonna go through and we're gonna hash this out and we're gonna give you a roadmap that you can use so that you can take your niche and say, boom, here's what I'm gonna do, here's how I'm gonna make money. So let's go ahead and di dive into the computer over here and see what we got going on. All right, let's see, where'd we go? All right, so it looks like a lot of people have no sales, which sucks. No sales is terrible, all right? Unless you're making money a different way, but I'm guessing most people are not. Okay, so let's dive in. First of all, what we got to do is we got to look at our niche. We got to see the value. Now, right here, okay, right here we got to look at. Now, Tina says, you know, I, I have a drone site and I made a sale, but... I sold something in the accessories. Now, Tina, if you would be so kind, tell us how much traffic you're getting and tell us what you earned, right? Since this webinar is all about that, I think this will be helpful to understand. Okay, now you'll notice here, I got some sites here that are profitable sites and they look like not profitable sites. You would look at these and say, wow, these make money. Now I have an example here of some of the ads for different keywords. So you can see, hey, there's a lot of money going on here. 
Uh, the PDF will be given away at the end of the webinar. Okay, so if you stick around at the end, we're going to give you the PDF and we're going to give you the Excel calculator, which is cool because check this out. I made this calculator for you and you just literally pick what type of offer you're running. So like if you're going to do a sale, right? And you say, well, Amazon pays me $40 a sale. It's going to tell you, boom, on the low end, you're going to make like 40 cents a click. On the high end, you're going to make $1.32. And that's clicks to the actual page. Okay, really cool. Now, <coughs> we also did this for like <laughs> pay-per-click ads. If you're getting a dollar a click, boom, that's what you're going to make. Uh, or a dollar uh, payout, you're going to get those. And on and on we go. So really cool. You guys are going to get that. It's going to work really good. Okay, awesome. So we're going to dive in. We're going to show you how this works. We're going to hash it out so you understand what's going on. Now, when we go to our niche, the first thing we want to do is we want to go to Offer Vault and see what kind of offers there are, right? So if we go for drone, okay, oftentimes there's not a lot for drone. So we might have to look at like Amazon or something else or even drop shipping, right? Like if I got a bunch of traffic in the drone niche, I would drop ship those. Okay, maybe not at first. Maybe I'd first test it out, see if I sell them, find out what you're selling and drop ship it. Very important. Okay. Okay, so we got drone, some kind of drone X Pro. Let's see what drone X is. Okay, view of the world with drone, see the world from heights, see pictures, shoot videos. Okay, so this is like a drone and it pays 50 bucks. Cool. Let's see how much the drone is. Drone 720 by now. And see how easy this converting is? Like, it's not a bunch of junk where it's like, hey, you know what? This is silly. It's like, boom, here you go. Buy the thing. Very cool. Okay, so we're like, here we go. 50 bucks. They buy it. Okay, it's got some resolution. Buy three drones. Okay, so to buy one, so they get this drone for 100 bucks, I get 50 bucks. How many of you guys are like, holy cow, Marcus, you get $50 to sell a $100 drone? That's pretty damn good. <coughs> pretty cool, right? So that's what we want to look at, as opposed to if you were selling a $100 drone on Amazon, you'd be getting like $4. Okay, how many of you guys say, I'd rather have 50 bucks, right? Because I, I would rather have 50 bucks, right? Really cool. Um, so Drone X would be a good one we use. And let's see what else we have. We got um, Drone X3, looks like Drone X is the big one. DGI Drone, let's see what this pays on. Pays on a sale, that's pretty low, but let's, let's just, for humor, let's check it out. Okay, yeah, that's way too low of a payout, I'm not even gonna touch that one. Um, so yeah, Drone X would be the winner. Um, and you could go up here, I think this one's paying $63 on the same sale. So, I mean, obviously go for this one because they're paying more. Um, so, really cool. So, I would prefer the $63 and the drone's the same price. Pretty cool. All right. So, really easy, really simple. Resolution's kind of crappy, but they probably have other stuff as well. All right. So, we just got to check it out. Okay. So, we want to look at that. We want to say, great, drone, good, excellent. Now, on this, what we would do is we would go to our calculator and be like, okay, cool. So, I get, let's clear this out here. On a sale, since this is a sale one. Now, the way that this converts is we look at a sale. You're usually going to get one out of 30 if you do really good or one out of 100 if you're average, right? That means if I send 100 people to the Drone X, probably get one to buy. Okay, does that make sense to everyone? Hopefully it does. Okay, so what we do is we just put our $63 in here. And that says on the high, or I think I have these backwards. I've got to fix the calculator. Uh, but on the high end, we're looking at $2.00. Uh, per click on the low end we're looking at 63 cents a click okay does that make sense how many of you guys are like wow this makes it easy i never thought of it this way but you can pretty much predict what's going to happen now we don't know for sure we don't know how well this is going to convert but i could tell you on average if this fits the market if your market's into like inexpensive drones and things like that it's probably sell pretty well right <coughs> i'm sure <coughs> you could probably get one out of 100 to buy the thing, right? If you got one out of 100, you'd be making 63 cents a click. If you need to get 60, if you know you're getting 63 cents a click, you get yourself 10,000 visitors a month, make like 630 bucks or 6,300 6, bucks, I think it is. Yeah, my math brain's not working. 10,000 visitors times 0 0.63. 
6300 bucks. Right? How many of you are like, now I know I can get 10,000 visitors, right? And then you just go and you do the math and you're like, okay, cool. Let's see if we can get cheap drone traffic. Drone. Okay. And then we're like, okay, can we get cheap drone traffic? Uh, drone, 30 cents a click, 32 cents a click, 22 cents for quadcopter, which I think it's got four things. I guess that's a quadcopter. Uh, drones for sale. Okay, so if we could stick in the cheap area, so this is mini drone, um, drone, 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 drone. Okay, let's try cheap drone. Let's put the word cheap in here. Okay, and then if I look at this, if I'm like, okay, well, I can get traffic for 20 cents a click. Okay, if I got my traffic for 20 cents a click, that means I would pay for 10,000 visitors, I would pay 21 cents a click, which would be 2,100 bucks. You take the 6,300, you minus the 2,100, and you're like, boom, I would be profiting $4,200 a month. Again, this is totally hypothetical. Results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. The idea of this is to help you understand the numbers, right? And you can't go out there. I'm not telling you if you go bid on this, you're going to make this much tomorrow. You might make less. You might make more. You might make nothing. I don't know. I've never ran this offer. But do you guys get the idea, right? Are you understanding what I'm saying where I'm like, hey, this is how you do the math. Now, the cool thing about this is if you got those 10,000 visitors and you got a 1% conversion rate, that means <clears throat> 100 people purchased. That means you still have 9,900 people who didn't buy but are on your site, and you can make money off them too, right? So pretty cool. It starts to compound, starts to work. Now, um, sell your house fast says, so then you compare the cost per click to decide how much you want to make. Exactly. And then you take it and you say, well, if I want to get free traffic, Okay, free traffic's a little bit less profit per click because it's not as regulated. You're going to get people from everywhere. You don't know, right? I'm a big believer, no matter what you're doing, everyone here should test a pay-per-click ad at some point. Take $100 you don't need, make a site, make it good, focus, test it, see what happens. Okay, now, if you get my courses and you learn from me, you're going to learn how to do this in a really cool way, but I would say test it. You're going to learn. You're going to understand. You're going to say, these are what's happening. This is what people are clicking on. This is what they bought. This is what they downloaded. Here's how I made money. Very important. Let's take a look at some others here. Uh, we had the word mood. Okay, so we would go to Offer Vault. Be like, okay, what about mood? Right? <coughs> mood. <laughs> See what they look up and what kind of offers there are for mood. Wants to be slow today. Okay, cool. So we got mood, just going to give us all kinds of stuff. So we got like supplements, $28 a sale, health. Okay, let's see. Wellness, some kind of moringa. Let's see what this is. So this is $85 per sale. Okay, mood lift. Aha, I like. Tommy likey, Tommy want wingy. All right, name the movie. Someone's got to know that. Feel good again. Wake up to brighter mornings. Good. So this one's for mood, $75 per order okay so now this is actually on a free order okay so this is what this is why i love cpa marketing relieve depression boost energy restore emotional balance okay good i like that excellent now they are actually going to ship okay it doesn't look like it's free maybe it's free order now okay we'd have to fill that out to figure it out but it's probably like a a pretty inexpensive one Okay, so we'd have to figure out what it pays and what it costs. So it pays $75. So if it's like less than $100, that's, that's probably pretty good. Okay, so again, we look at this and we're like, okay, mood. <coughs> Boom. Okay, everyone got the movie. Good. You guys are on the up and up there. You got you to gotta watch Tommy Boy. Greatest comedy of all time. Excellent. Okay, so like mood. We got mood, low, four cents a click. People tell me, they're like, Marcus, you can't get cheap traffic anymore. There's no cheap traffic. Well, there's four cent clicks right there. Well, Marcus, how are you going to make money? Well, I'm going to sell them this $75 mood lift. And then I'm going to do some other stuff as well. <coughs> make sure it's ethical. <coughs> make sure it's good. And focus, right? Uh, Sierra Lab CBD oil. That could be good for mood. Again, check the legalities. Check out, you know, 
check this stuff out. All I'm doing is showing you how to calculate what the earnings are going to look like. Okay, so we take a look at this. Now, this is different. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to explain a different concept. Okay, there's a different concept that we have. Now, this concept is called the value of traffic. Okay, value of traffic. Here's a secret. Most people on the internet have no idea how to value traffic. What does that mean for us? Well, that means for us that we can go buy their traffic dirt cheap and put them to things that make money. So if you understand how to value traffic, which I'm teaching you in this training, game over, you win, right? Because you could go right now and you can buy banner ads on sites that talk about moods and you can get them dirt cheap, like $5 for like 100,000 impressions or something ridiculous like that. So we got to look at this, okay? We got to understand the value of traffic. Now, there's several things when we look at valuing traffic, okay? This is based on your offers. Number one is what we call a direct hit offer, okay? Direct hit offer. What is a direct hit offer? A direct hit offer would be like, if I could get people to download a book about cheap drones, and it's free, and I got paid like $5 to give it away, that'd be a direct hit. Or if there was a toolbar that helped people with their mood, and I got $3, that would be a direct hit. A direct hit offer is an offer that is so close to the keyword that it's not even funny. This is what people refer to as buyer keywords. This is why they like buyer keywords. Personally, not a fan of buyer keywords. They're all right, but I can find traffic in other ways, okay? So buyer keywords are things like buy a cheap drone for under $100. That's a buyer keyword. Price for XW50 drone. That would be a buyer keyword, okay? Now, do you guys see how a buyer keyword, okay, buyer keyword is going to convert higher Okay, so like if I have like I did a promo for the Kartra shopping cart, I know a lot of people who do promos for click funnels. Okay, and they say, well, I go to Google and I bid on the word click funnels and I lead them to my site and a lot of people buy. Okay, does everyone understand why that would work pretty easily? Right, you're like, yeah, that makes sense. They want click funnels. I, I sell on click funnels. Duh, right? That would be a direct hit offer, an offer that is so close to the keyword that it's like, this is exactly a match made in heaven. Okay, now the problem with buyer keywords is everyone buys buyer keywords. And what happens is the cost of the keyword goes sky high, okay? Cost of keyword goes sky high, and the conversion starts to drop. What I always say is that when something is easy, it gravitates towards break even. Okay, so if something's easy, like bidding on ClickFunnels, sending them to ClickFunnels, that's pretty easy. Getting a product on ClickBank, bidding on the product name in Google, that's easy. Everyone does it, it gravitates towards break even. There's still some of them out there, but it's pretty difficult and it's pretty competitive. Okay, so that would be an example of a direct hit offer. If you understand what a direct hit offer is, type direct hit in the box, and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so type in direct hit, and we will move on. All right, cool. Direct hit offer is very close, okay? When I was doing the toolbars, some of them were direct hit, some of them weren't. There was one that was direct hit that was like, Download cursors. I gave them the cursor to a BART. That would be a direct hit. Now, as time went on, it went to break even. Didn't make anything. Okay? Made a bunch in the beginning. Went to break even. I had to get creative. And I'd say, who else would want these cursors? Very important. Okay? Now, the second thing is what I call a pretty damn close offer. Okay? Pretty damn close offer. Now, I can't sell a mood. Like, 
if I wanted a direct hit for mood, I'd be like, how do you feel? Happy, sad, depressed, angry. Okay? And then I could sell them, like, the opposite. So if you feel angry, here, click here to get happy, right? That would be a direct hit. Now, that doesn't exist, so we got to go for pretty damn close. What's pretty damn close? Pretty damn close would be maybe like a book or a toolbar or some kind of course or something that would help them with their moods, right? Like a virtual mood ring. Invent that, someone. That's a good idea. Okay, so a uh, virtual mood ring or something like that. Something that's the barrier of entry is low, right? Something where it's like download, fill out a form, put your zip code in the box. Okay, these are pretty damn close offers that are easy. Or like the drone one I showed you, that's a pretty close offer. It's like, hey, they're looking for a drone. This drone's 99 bucks. I get paid 63. Pretty damn close. Now, the next one is what I call off the beaten path. Okay? This is something that's not exactly perfect, but I think I can make sales. I think I could probably get a 1% conversion rate. This would be an example of if you're selling something like Kartra or ClickFunnels or a website building software or something like that, maybe instead of going for the word ClickFunnels would be direct hit or something like ClickFunnels price, which would be pretty damn close. Instead, maybe we're going for something like how to put a order form on your website. Okay, that would be a pretty damn close one and you can see how that would convert, right? Does that make sense to everyone? Okay, let me know if it makes sense. Um, Carol says, what domain name would you use with a direct hit offer? I would use a domain name about the niche rather than the tool, right? So if I was selling like X5Drone, I wouldn't get X5Drone.com because it's probably trademarked and copywritten and all kinds of stuff. I'd probably get something like bestdroneunder100.com or whatever, okay? Really cool. Okay, so we got to look at this. We got to focus. We got to take a look at our offers. Direct hit obviously is going to convert the best, right? That's like download cursors, boom, here you go. Pretty cool. Um, pretty damn close would be like, you know, want to make your page look cool, put a cursor on it. Okay, really good. Um, off the beaten path would be like a little bit of a stretch. Off the beaten path would be like when I did the cursors and the downloads, I went for MySpace layouts. Okay, MySpace layouts, right? You're like, well, Marcus, how did you get from MySpace layouts over to cursors? Okay, well, I thought that these people who had MySpace pages would want, like, instead of the little boring arrow, maybe they want, like, a little baseball or a little, like, rap thing or money or something like that for everyone to see when they came to their page. They did, right? Really, really cool. Okay, so we got to focus on that. We got to look at it. Okay, now... Three types of offers, write that down, take notes. Let's dive into the computer, take a look at some other stuff. All right, where'd my mouse go? Okay. Okay, so we got to look at this and we got to focus. So we got this here. Now, another way to value your traffic is by simply looking at what people are paying, right? So right here, this is saying that this traffic is, is basically going for about four to seven cents a click, right? So that's kind of saying what the traffic's worth in the bidding war that is paid traffic, okay? Does that make sense to everyone? Like this is, it's kind of like the going rate. This is like the stock market numbers for keywords, okay? This is like your inventory. It's like, okay, 165,000, seven cents a click. That's the inventory. So what they're saying is that there's 165,000 people every month looking up mood and the average is about five, six cents a click. Let's call it six cents a click. So they're saying that word more or less worth about $10,000 a month. If you got all the traffic, does that make sense? Why I came up with that? Okay. Let me know if that makes sense. I know we're getting a little mathy, which is okay. Okay. Let me know if that made sense. Okay, cool. So when we look at this, like fabric, they're saying is worth about 80 cents a click. Times that by that, that's the value of that word. Now, you're going to notice that not all niches are created equal. If I go to mortgage or refinance, 
Okay, this is going to go through the roof. All right, so mortgage calculator, 95 cents. Uh, mortgage payment calculator, 98 cents. Uh, times 201, so that's pretty easy. That's like 200 grand a month or whatnot. Right, so we've got to look at this, and we've got to focus. Okay, if you think math is hard, don't worry, because you're going to get this calculator. It makes everything easy. I, I like to make everything easy on everyone, so that's what you're going to do. Right, how about retirement? If we do retirement... Now, what I want you to notice, because what we're in the business of is flipping the value, okay? Flipping the value is important. Flipping the value is what I did over there where I said, hey, check it out. Over there, you got MySpace layouts. Over here, you got cursors. MySpace layouts was like dirt cheap. No one bid on it. No one. Like It's like mood. It's like four cents, okay? Cursors paid me $2 a download. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I get $2 a download, how can I flip this? Now, if you look at this stuff, same kind of thing. If we do retirement, we could look at the competition, find the ones that are low, or I think we could even do it by bid range. <coughs> okay, so here's a guy looking up a retirement speech. Okay, retirement quotes. Okay, so here's one for retirement quotes or whatnot. If I go in there and I find out that these people looking up retirement quotes are people that are gonna retire, then I can back end them into all kinds of stuff. I could be like, hey, while you're looking for your quotes, why don't you check out this retirement savings thing or, or um, this account or whatever, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna get in the habit of flipping the market. Flipping the market is a great way to go about stuff. You could look up things like mood, okay? And you could flip that into like depression type stuff, okay? Is everyone making the, uh, getting this? Type in um, flip the market if you get it. Flipping the market is what I do for a living. It's what I've done for 19 years. Even when I started a SEO company back in 2001, people would come to me and be like, hey, you know what? Uh, I want traffic for this keyword. And I'd be like, no, you don't because it's going to cost too much. Go for this instead. And when I did that for them, they actually made more sales and they got traffic way easier. Okay, flipping the market is <laughs> the key. <coughs> Knowing... <coughs> what niche to go into and knowing what to do with them is everything. Right? That, that's everything. That's like what you are doing. Okay. So you are a market flipper, right? That's what you're going to do. Now you can see examples of market flipping. Uh, like if we go to MSN or I think Yahoo has it. Let's see. You're going to notice that they have like sponsored ads here. Here's a sponsored ad, right? So they're taking people from the MSN homepage, which is a regular homepage. And they're like, Hey, are you interested in this credit card? Boom, instant flip the market. Because what they did is they took a snapshot of the people that are on the MSN homepage. They got an amount of them to click on this. And now that traffic, now that they're interested in credit cards, boom, it skyrockets, right? If you're like, okay, well, let's see, uh, people looking up news, news. Okay, probably really cheap. Okay, so they're looking up news. Like four cents, five, I mean, it's just dirt cheap for news traffic, okay? And what they did is they flipped it to credit card. Boom. Now they flip it to credit card, and we'll go this way. Credit cards, 25 28 $118 a click. Right, 108. So they just basically took the traffic and made it worth a lot more. Boom. There you go. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at some other sponsored ones. Here's another one. Apparently credit cards work on the MSN homepage. Let's see what else we have. Uh, here's another card. I think Yahoo does the same thing. Let's see. Something about a hearing test. Uh, let's see what else. Um, refinance mortgages. Stock market. Sleep apnea. Right? So, like, sleep apnea. Okay? Take a look at this. This would be an example of the market you're flipping them to. Okay? Sleep apnea. Let's try to spell it correctly. Sleep apnea, we got 7 to $13 a click. <coughs> Let's do specific. 
apnea. Okay, so sleep apnea, $25 a click, 7, 7, 7, 10, 41. Right, does everyone get it? Like, this is an expensive market. Type expensive market. Probably has <coughs> offers. Okay, sleep apnea, 9.8% conversion rate. Whoa, that's pretty good conversion rate. Let's see what it is. So sleep apnea, snoring aid, $25 CPA. Let's take a look at that. Do this again, see if we can find this. $23 a sale. Okay, so pretty good. Expensive market, great. Okay, now what do we do with this? Well, we could probably go for people typing in like can't sleep. Boom, like this. Okay, can't sleep is probably inexpensive. Let's see here. Two cents a click. I sleep too much. Hmm, that's good. Effects of poor sleep. Insufficient sleep. Effects of sleep. Lack, I mean, is anyone getting an aha moment other than me? And I've been doing this a long time, right? You guys get the idea? It's like, hey, these people would probably... These people are more interested than the people on Yahoo's homepage about sleep apnea. Okay, does everyone get that? And we're getting them way cheap. Super inexpensive. <coughs> okay, type a 100 if you get it. Type a one if you're like, Marcus, I didn't get the aha moment. What you talking about? All right, type that in. Stream still going? Should be going. I got a little yellow bar, but I think we're okay. Yeah, we're still going. It's a green on, on YouTube, so it should be pretty good. Okay, so that's the idea. Now, here's the deal. I'm good at finding these. I can find them all day long. This is what I do for a living. Um, and I want to kind of teach you guys how to do that as well. Okay, so that's the idea. And you want to look at that and say, okay, well, sleep apnea. Um, let's see what it's going to look like. We use our little calculator, and we're like, okay, well, that offer, this is a sale offer, a ClickBank sale offer. They say it converts 9.8%, but... That's them, so I doubt it. Okay, uh, never stop snoring. <coughs> Let's take a look at some other offers. Let's do sleep. Okay. Do sleep. Okay, that's a little different sleep than I was expecting. Um, here's some kind of sleep thing here. Um, Z snore, Lunexa, um, NutraSleep, sleep dream pill. Okay, cool. So we got lots of stuff there. Um, sleep well. So this would be pretty basic sale. Um, pretty much a direct hit. Like they can't sleep. They want to sleep well. Um, we would just look at the page, see how it's doing. Put that in our calculator. And be like, okay, um, let's see. That would be a sale. So we do $80 a sale. Boom. You could expect between $0.80 and 264 a click. Okay. Screen working okay. If it's blurry... Just click on the little thing and make it HD. Should be able to do that. Okay. So that's what you're going to expect. Now it's like, okay, well, can I get traffic less than 80 cents a click? Because that's the low end. And obviously, if I'm going to get on the low end, can I get traffic less than 80 cents? Well, yeah. Hell to the yeah. Right? How to fall asleep. Five cents. <coughs> Pretty easy. Now, you can also do other offers like hypnotherapy um, tapes. I know a lot of people buy hypnosis downloads. I actually have a few that work pretty good for falling asleep. All right, does that make sense? Okay, Thomas says, most CPA offers are spammy, low quality, not something I really want to promote. That's untrue. Most CPA offers are pretty good. Right? Like, does anyone have a problem with like this rest pro thing? Not bad. Now there are some, right? With all marketing, you have to do your work to make sure your stuff's ethical, make sure it's on the up and up. Now I knew years ago that I could promote an offer 